Hello, welcome to Tazunomi Online Mathematics. I am Dako Fred Yao, your regular host. We are still on vectors. This time around, we want to find the midpoint of a line segment. We want to find the position vector of the midpoint of any line segment. So we are saying that let M be the midpoint of any line segment, say AB. With the position vectors, the M is the position vector of the M that is placed between A and B, where the A and B are also position vectors of our AB relative to the origin. So, so this is a line segment AB. We are saying that let M be the midpoint. So meaning that in between A and B, we place what? M. Equidistance from A and B. Now we are saying that A and B and M are relating to what? The origin O. So let's just say this is the origin. So we can say that from the origin to this we have our vector A. From the origin to B, we have our vector B. Then the origin to M, we have our vector M. So these are the position vectors. The position vector is the distance between the vector and the origin, or the relation between the origin, the origin and the vector. Now, so if we take the vector AB. Vector AB which is the, the longest distance, in between AB we have M. So I can find vector AM as half of this. So I can say that vector AM from A to M is half of AB. Similarly for M to B is also half of what? our AB. So if these are the position vectors, if you want to find position vector of vector AM, we normally know that is the position vector of the end point minus the position vector for the initial point. So here is going to be the end point M minus the initial point A equals to half. Find the position vector of AB will be the end point B minus what? the initial point. So I believe here we are having A, A here so we can expand the bracket to have uh, A group together. So we are going to have Now we can see bringing the A to this leaving the M since that is the midpoint you are looking for I have M equals to half A B, half B minus half A plus A. This is just the coefficient here is 1 and minus 1, minus half. Minus half plus 1 will give us a positive half. So that simply means that we have our M equals to half of B plus half of A. Half of B plus half of A. And we know that half, half is common so we can group that like them so we can have m equals to half a plus what b so now it means that if i'm looking for the a midpoint between two lines it is just half times the sum of the two vectors half times so if i'm looking for the midpoint M, I can still say that MB is half of AB, then I will still get the same point that I'm having. So from here we know that the A is standing in for position vector A from the origin. So I can say that this M will be half of 
vect at OA plus half of vector OB. So in general, finding the midpoint or the position vector of the midpoint of any line segment is just half times the sum of the two vectors. So if I have a vector A plus vector B, if I find half of that, the component on the x-axis and the component on the y-axis give me the midpoint that I have. So this is finding the midpoint of any vector. We always use this aspect of it. Alright, so let's take a question and see how we can apply the formula we just learned. Now if A is a midpoint of the vector BC, where B is given as a point and C is also given as a point. We have to find the position vector of what? A. That is the position vector of A will be OA or a small letter A, that is the lowercase A. Alright, so from the midpoint theorem, we have the A is going to be half of B plus C. Where A, B, C are the position vectors of A, B, and C. So in this case, if we know this, where we have B to be minus 35, and we have the A to be 5, 7. So now let's substitute and see. Vector B, vector C, so 5, 7, then we perform the operation in the bracket, still maintaining our half as a coefficient out here, minus 3 plus 5, then 5 plus 7. I think we can continue to have half, 2, 12. So under multiplication of vectors, we, we use a scalar. When the scalar is multiplying the vector, it multiplies both the component on, on the x-axis and the component on the y-axis. So half times 2 will give us 1. Half times 12 will also give us what? 6. Therefore, Therefore, the position vector of A will be given as what? 1, 6. Alright, so for position vectors, it's just half of the sum of the vectors in which we are placing that uh, vector or that point. Alright, thank you very much for watching. I still remain Kaku Fred. And the channel is Kaku Fred on YouTube or Tazunomi Online Mathematics on YouTube. And I think the same on uh, Facebook, Setazo, on TikTok. So you can subscribe to uh, my channel and anytime that I upload a video, you'll be the first to see. Thank you very much.